What's going on guys? Tony here with Edge Elite Knife Review. Got another one for you guys today. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one for the simple fact that I knew I wasn't going to like this knife when I first bought it. Um, and that is the Lucas Burnley Boker Quiken. Um, the reason why I knew I wasn't going to like this knife is because my Carta. I don't like my Carta. I do not like my Carta handles. Now you might, might be saying might be asking yourself, well, then why did you buy it, Tony? Like, why did you get it? Because it was on sale. It was the cheapest one that I could find, and I always wanted to review one of these guys. That's why I did it. Don't question me. No, I'm just kidding. Question me. Uh, I enjoy, you know, feedback. Um, yeah, I, I knew I wasn't going to like this knife <laughs> because of that micarta. Um but, it, you know, it was on sale. It was cheap. It was, uh, how much was this? How much was it? It was $127? I want to say, I, I'm pretty sure it was $127. Um, I, I think that's a good deal. Um, so I picked it up. And, uh, I mean, overall, it's, overall, it's a nice knife. I mean, come on. Lucas Burnley knocks it out of the park every time. Boker knows how to make a solid knife. So those guys teaming up, come on, how could you not have a good knife? I just personally don't like my Carta, um, but it is a nice knife. Uh, so you got a 3.5 inch blade. Uh, it is Japanese OS8 steel, you can see that right there. Japanese OS8. Um, so Blade HQ says that it's a trailing point. It's To me, it's more Japanese Tonto inspired. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, there is a flat grind on it with a plain edge, so you know it's going to be good at slicing and dicing. There's a really cool, uh, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, like, uh, why am I why am I blanking right now? It's got really cool grinds on, on the spine. I can't, I don't know why I can't think of that, what it's called right now, but really cool grind on the spine. So you can see that the tip of the blade is left with the full thickness of the blade stock so you're gonna have a pretty good reinforced tip there you're not gonna worry about this guy breaking snapping its head off uh but then again this is really not a blade shape that you would want to try to use to pry anything which generally i don't recommend that you guys ever use your knives to pry things um but sometimes you got to do what you got to do and edc is life so pry away guys just keep in mind of your blade shapes that's all i gotta say what do you want me to do? Um, I like the fact that this knife seems to have a second self-defense uh, design in it with this pommel, or I, I guess the back of the the back of the knife. I don't know if it was designed to be a pommel, but I feel like if you were to palm it, cap it with your thumb, that'd be a nice, less than lethal, you know, pressure point weapon there. Um, I like that. It's got a really generous lanyard hole in there. You can see that. I like the placement of that. Um, the clip is nice. I just wish it was a little longer and there was a little more uh, spring because this thing is stiff as heck. Um, there's like no... Look at that. I'm trying as hard as I can. As hard as I can to bend that thing and it, it's not moving. It does the job well though. Uh, you got a solid aluminum backspacer in there. It's a nice, nice touch. Um, stainless steel liners, thumb disc opener, IKBS ball bearing system in the pivot. Uh, you can see that right there, IKBS and Burnley. And then Boger right there. So, yeah, overall it's a nice knife, nice design. It's like a sleek, gentleman, Japanese-inspired folder. Um, when this thing's in your pocket, it kind of disappears. You don't really know it's there. And it came with um, it came with a decent edge, too. Let me see. I haven't touched up the edge at all. I never touch up the edges before I do the review. You guys know that. But the edge is still pretty decent. I mean, look at that. I mean, to be honest, I didn't, I haven't used it for much. I opened one letter. I cut a small piece of rope. Paracord. Uh, and I did a shave test on my left arm. That's about it. So, I mean, the factory edge is pretty nice. The few bokers that I've had 
have come with nice factory edges. So in my opinion so far, Boker knows how to do a nice factory edge. Which to me, that's a big deal. When you pay so much for a knife and uh, you know, you pay so much for one of these knives and it comes with a horrible edge. Even more expensive ones. Like, to be honest, my my Grail Microtech, it was brand new in box. The guy never used it. And it just wasn't sharp. And that blew my mind because I was like, wait a minute, this is Microtech. Like, to me, these guys are top of the top. You know, that's just my opinion. And it wasn't sharp. Like, this thing is honestly sharper than that was. I don't know. It, you know, they make so many knives. A company makes so many knives. You can't really say, like, oh, you get one knife from them and it's not sharp. Like, it's bound to happen. I'm not I'm not holding it against anybody. But, yeah, so definitely has a nice factory edge on this guy. It feels good. It's sleek. It feels comfortable in the hand. Um, nice, nice operating IKBS ball bearing system paired with that thumb disc. Flies open. Feels great. Solid lockup on that guy. Absolutely rock solid lockup on that liner. So you have confidence that thing's not closing on you. Uh, you know, should you get into a crazy situation or even just using it for work. It's not going to close on you. Um, there's so many variations of this knife, guys. My favorite one, and if anybody out there watching this video has one that they find in their hearts, they would love to sell me or trade me. Uh, that would make me so happy is the uh, the uh, marbled carbon fiber and cop carb okay marbled carbon fiber and copper bolster version of this knife. I think it was a blade HQ exclusive. They went really quick. I didn't get a chance to grab one when they were out and I haven't seen them on any other website. So if you guys know somebody or if you yourself have that version and you're down to trade, Please hit me up. That would be awesome. I'd appreciate that so much. Um, anyways, this knife, guys, if you don't have one of these Quikens in your uh, EDC rotation or collection, I say pick one up. Definitely pick one up. You won't be disappointed unless you don't like my Carta and, you know, you're cheap like me. <laughs> um, this one, though, is traded. I already talked to one of my good buddies. We're doing a trade. He's going to enjoy this knife more than I will, that's for sure. Um, so I'm happy about that. Happy it's going to a good home. He's a good guy. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments, guys. What do you think about, what do you guys think about uh, this knife and all the different variations that it comes with? Let me know what variation you guys have. The one that I probably would have liked a little better, there there is a Micarta one with a brass bolster. I might have liked that one a little better because of the brass bolster that might have been cool but uh that was a little more expensive and i'm not a rich guy i buy all these myself uh so i gotta kind of pick and choose what i'm buying at times but uh yeah let me know which one you guys got which one you guys rock what do you use it for and uh that would be awesome down in the comments below i'll link my instagram page in uh the description of this video and i'll leave a button down here for you guys to subscribe if you haven't let your friends know like share and subscribe that'd be awesome i'll leave another video up here for you guys to check out thank you guys so much and as always keep watching